Good morning, folks. Yesterday, when we said we didn't know if part three of the next disaster series would come out last night or today, it was because we're a bit under the weather here. No worries, it's not the Shanghai sniffles, just a bit of food poisoning. We will indeed try to get that out today, but honestly, I humbly beg your patience. We'll see a few interesting stories from the holiday week here, touching a number of the core topics of the channel. Starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours on the sun were quiet. Northern coronal hole turning out as the southern one hits center disk. Solar wind will amplify in the coming days from them, but for now, we are all quiet in geospace. Up first, an article hypothesizing that primordial black holes right after the Big Bang created multiverses, and that's where the dark matter is hiding. If this seems utterly ridiculous to you and you haven't been following our expose of cosmological absurdity lately, 10 points for you. Between the Sky Scholar channel and our Plasma Cosmology series, which you can watch at our channel page and suspiciousobservers.org, it is pretty easy to see the writing on the wall. Up next, some of our most featured solar physicists at the channel have another paper out updating their magnetic terminator and solar cycle reset science. A good article for the heliophysics nerds like me, with a look at the beginning of this solar cycle. We'll also take a look at how they predict the strength, which is of course the solar polar magnetic fields. Bulge size here usually correlates to the next sunspot cycle power, and the peaks and reversals of these lines are where the largest magnitude earthquakes occur. That's our foundational paper you can read at quakewatch.net, Davidson, Holloman, Uyen, 2015. Up next, talk about slow science. Data analysis finally complete on the second ever solar neutrino decay proton detected on Earth. The only other time it was detected on the planet was in the great solar storm of 1989, where the Quebec power grids went down. And these protons, they should be modulated by the magnetic field, so was the flare that they identified in 2004, a mere X2, really such a producer? Or is Earth's weakening magnetic field guilty of letting them slip by? That topic is the subject of the next disaster series you are so patiently waiting for in episode three, and it's also the subject of our cosmic disaster playlist on the channel page and at suspiciousobservers.org. Now last but not least, a new carbon monoxide mapping of the galaxy righteously shows the Parker spiral. With that runs the rippling wavy current sheet coming from the central torus. This cyclical galactic impact of the current sheet is where we look to explain the cycle we see on the sun and the earth. Same cosmic disaster playlist for that one. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org, you got 100 episodes of Deeper Look in 2020 and we did the Fly on the Wall podcast 51 out of the 52 weeks. Here we go, 2021. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.